Well, there's no doubt that one of the things that people are obsessing about at the moment, particularly mortgaged owner occupations uh, occupiers, is the prospect of an interest rate rise when that first interest rate rise will occur. Now, in reality, we don't expect those interest rate rises to be significant, and we expect them to occur on a progressive basis. So that still leaves some capacity for house price growth um, in the UK housing market. Um, it will have a more acute effect in certain areas, particularly in London, where you've got relatively high prices to household income ratios. I also think it's worth remembering for a, a, another part of the uh, population, that growing private rented sector, you know, interest rate rises are perhaps a secondary consideration where they are much more um, interested in what's happening in terms of rental growth. Um, so we've seen some incredibly clear signals um, from the Conservative government as to the way they wish to approach housing, housing policy, uh, particularly with a significant drive towards house building on the back of encouraging home ownership. And that's really reflected in some of the policies that were put in place in coalition. So help to buy was a good example of that. But obviously they've now come in with you know, further measures, uh, particularly starter homes, which really nail down uh, their desire to increase levels of owner occupation in the market. And clearly there's a space for that. Um, it is needed. We do need to be able to get people on the housing ladder. The risk, of course, is that that is done and other areas of the market are neglected, uh, whether that be social housing or whether that be the private rented sector where there still remains a significant undersupply. Well, I think over the period of the next 12 months, we're likely to see the London market slow a little bit further, um, and we're likely to see the South East, which sits quite a long way behind London in terms of price growth over the period since the market bottomed out, uh, begin to show a degree of catch-up. It's going to take slightly longer for that to filter in a sustainable level um, across, for example, the markets of the Midlands and the north of England. They tend to be markets which perform much more strongly uh, later in the cycle, and of course what you need is a strong uh, catalyst of economic growth in those markets uh, to drive demand. What you will see, of course, is some people just saying, London has got so expensive that I'm priced out, therefore they will look at other opportunities. And I think those housing costs will play a part in the rebalancing of the UK um, economy more generally and where people choose to locate, particularly younger graduates as they come out of university. Yeah, well, I think our attitudes to renting are undoubtedly changing, and the credit crunch had an awful lot to do with it, even though that um, occurred now um, a number of years ago. Um, we are starting to see a group of aspirational renters who have relatively high budgets compared perhaps to the rest um, of the market. I suspect one of the risks we face is that everybody considers that's the normal renter, whereas in reality there are huge opportunities and huge challenges and huge demand uh, for private rented sector accommodation uh, amongst those people perhaps with slightly lower levels of affluence.